We're in Gatineau, uh, actually the older part of Gatineau, uh, 1212 Maloney Boulevard East in uh, Get the Greater Gatineau. Uh, it's the uh, original Gatineau part of uh, Now Gatineau is a big, big uh, town. So this is the original smaller section of it. What's the most important thing about firefighting? Well, I think you have to have a, a civic sense of civic duty. Uh, it's the kind of thing that you can't put your finger on. It's, it seems that every firefighter seems to have that kind of uh, uh, penchant, if you will. Uh, you meet other firefighters anywhere across the country or around the world, actually, and it seems to be a, a prevalent theme in the firefighters. It's, they're all that kind of uh, like-minded individuals. I don't know if that's what you were looking for, but it's pretty close to what uh, I it's a pretty good description of the type of men that uh, firefighters are. Would you say it's like a family? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a brotherhood. Everybody's really close. Uh, you stop in any fire station anywhere, actually, and introduce yourself and tell them where you're from. You're a, a, a firefighter from a, any area, and you're usually re received uh, with open arms. What is this place you're in right now? Uh, this is my uh, museum. It's uh, actually been also named as uh, the official uh, Fallen Firefighters Foundation Museum. I've, uh, I was on the fire department for 33 years, and in all that time I've always been a guy who's had a sense of history. I always want to save uh, uh, historic things. Uh, and uh, throughout my career, every time somebody had some firefighting artifact, which wasn't really an artifact at the time. Usually it was just old equipment, and I'd go to throw it away. I'd say, whoa, whoa, don't throw that away. I'll take that. I'll put that away for a while. And uh, 33 years later, ta-da, I put it all together, and uh, now we've got this fire station. And all, it's all made up to, to look like, a, like the, the, the old fire stations from before, and so a lot of fire stations that you still see in volunteer departments with the lockers at the back and uh, the mini bedroom, if you will, at, uh, at upstairs and uh, equipment stored just the way it is at, uh, uh, at fire departments. So why, is it, why do you think it's important to save history? Well, I think it's important all around. It's not just firefighting history, but uh, uh, if you don't keep uh, uh, some of the artifacts that were there before, there's no way that the kids can really understand what it was like. So what we do is we try and, and save the, the, uh, the history uh, with these three trucks is a, is a good example. And uh, everything that we own is functional. So we can take it out and do a demo someplace when we have uh, uh, groups that we, are, that we interact with. Sometimes it's muscular dystrophy, um, uh, the uh, intellectually handicapped. Uh, I like That's one of my favorite ones. And uh, we like to go out there and put on demos and talk about what it was like. And we've even done uh, now and in the past, where we have the, the modern fire apparatus meet us at a school. And uh, they pump water and we pump water and we compare what it was like before as, compar as to what, it was, what it's like today. And it gives the kids a sense of, uh, a sense of history, uh, at least an idea. Today's trucks are just big boxes with with uh, the pumps all hidden and everything is hidden inside compartments. In these days, and with these old p th pieces here, you can see everything. You see where the pump is, you see where the water went, you see what it did. So it's, uh, it's much more interesting that way. The, um, you were saying before that there's possibility that there's other places like this in North America and around the world where people have retired from firefighting and, and they decided to start their own little museum. What do you think about the concept of trying to, trying to get other museums to come and put their videos up on the website? I think it's a great idea. You could, uh, what it would certainly do is uh, make people aware of uh, these other people who have little hidden treasures like we have here. This is, uh, as very few people know about this, well, this, uh, this place here, although it's open to the public uh, by appointment usually. And uh, it's nice to think that there's a bunch of other places like this. And I know of a few people that have equipment, uh, not necessarily laid out the same way I have it here, but uh, some of them do. And 
and some of them is bigger and better than than here. So uh, it'd be nice to discover where those people are because there's lots of them I don't know about and I'm pretty current on what's going on but uh, every once in a while you're doing a show someplace and somebody comes up and says hey did you know that so and so just uh, down the road here has something like this so uh, I'm sure it's a good idea.